All right, so hello, hello, Pisces, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Reese, and I'm going to be giving the messages for you today. They are general messages, so take them as they resonate. Leave them if they don't. Um, if they don't, don't force them to fit. There are plenty of other wonderful readers on YouTube that just might resonate more with you at this time. Um, this is for Pisces suns and those with significant or strong Pisces placements in their chart. So if you know what house Pis Pisces rules and what's in there, you know, it could give you some specific insights into certain areas of your life. For those of you not familiar with me or the channel, I have no filter and I do not sugarcoat my messages. So, you know, if that's not your thing or you have kids around or you just don't appreciate that kind of a message, I'm always very respectful of that. And I give you the opportunity to sign off now. Otherwise, Pisces, we are getting into your messages for September. I'm using my Icarus Tarot, my Naked Heart Tarot, and my Sacred Rebels oracle okay so spirit please <laughs> for pisces and piscean energy for september what is the archetypal milestone the wheel of fortune pisces this is a hundred percent the wheel forever turning in your favor okay as an archetypal energy this is understanding that you cannot lose you ultimately cannot lose Archangel Michael is showing me like a really strong like metal breastplate like really strong and solid like your your heart has been so protected for so long you're seeing the blessings you're seeing you're seeing it like this is Jupiter energy right and Jupiter going direct this month in Capricorn and aspecting on Neptune because it's going to come back and aspect on Neptune in Pisces forming a sextile right it's a very positive aspect it's blessings in the truth of your inner growth right the the fact that you have completely transformed your vision right neptune you're, you've completely transformed your vision on deep levels right on deep levels this is the milestone that you're you're moving through for september right big blessings coming from the truth about your heart space and its ability to manifest being protected right so what does this look like what does this look like spirit for Pisces and Piscean energy for September this wheel of fortune turning in their favor what does this look like for Pisces and Piscean energy I'm, um, I'm being drawn specifically to the way this looks like a blade, right? Like a, like a table saw. And how the bottom limb is severed. And the top one is kind of risk of wanting to touch it. Okay you might feel as if you're really tinkering on a fine line not getting cut through the turning of the wheel right because when when the wheel turns i mean reality does shift right things shift belief shifts and so the outer reflects the inner 
it's almost like a very slippery slope not to be tempted to nick yourself or completely go into almost like a um like a like a breakdown mode where you feel like almost like distraught like all is lost because it's different and not seeing the actual beauty and the blessing so with jupiter with jupiter retrograding and going direct because it's going to be stationed for a while um be really patient be really patient because Jupiter is also Sagittarian energy. Um, be really patient in how the universe has to bring different elements of the reality together in order to shift and some things take time. And so, you know, don't be confused about the positive that's manifesting, even if you can't see the positivity through the anxiety of feeling tempted to fail, right? All right. Spirit, please. There we go. See, sometimes the messages just need to come out and the cards go flying. Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, Three of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Three of Wands. Clarify the Three of Wands. Okay, and clarify the Three of Swords. Three of Swords for Pisces. The Judgment card. Okay. Two of Cups is on the bottom. With the Heart of Swords, or the Queen of Swords, on the top. So Pisces. The heart or queen of swords is a very honest and vocal expression of the authentic self. Being very clear cut, sharp and concise with your words, right? The less words you use, with the, the right power of meaning behind them, the better. Your energy, it's almost as if you're consciously choosing to conserve where your energy is flowing, which is helping you reconnect with your compassion for yourself, right? Your love for your own heart and how you feel. This is, this is how I'm reading this energy, okay? which might be like this fine line, right? This fine line that you're toting because you know that you're very honest with how you speak and how you feel and it's not allowing it to run away with you, the words, because letting it run away with you, it could, it could absolutely take off more energy from you than you are prepared to give, right? Because you don't wanna bleed out your energy it's bringing you to a space where you are prioritizing loving yourself and the importance of how you feel. So we're moving away right at the beginning um, from energies that are emotionally not fulfilling, right? Where it leaves you feeling like you're not enough on some level, that you're not worthy of more on some level, and the give and take is what is not... Um, allowing the eight of cups energy to work right because the give and takes not there and that's what you're moving towards you're moving towards a very reciprocal cycle that includes gratitude right giving and receiving and gratitude so that that cycle that's positive can repeat right abundance and flow in that positive vibration you know that unconditionally loving experience and exchange consistently between you and another person and if it's not that then you're you're moving forward from it okay with the Three of Wands and the Chariot card. This energy, because this is very, um, I, I read this as like Piscean, it's Piscean energy and like Taurian energy. This is very Sagittarian Cancerian energy. This is a portal, 
right? This is a portal of awareness, a portal of sight, right? Clear sight, light sight within your field of view that could bring miracles, right? The chariot, the way I read the chariot is divine intervention, the highest, right? This, that's miracle intervention um, behind what you're seeing, right? What you're seeing. Now, the miracle that's coming through the vision, it's prompting right because this is a need for your spirit right this is a need for your spirit to move forward through the portal of vision right this light vision the t so you know fortune right the wheel can turn three of swords energy is ancestral or uh like familial karma and heartbreak so it's ancestral cycles that cause heartbreak energy pain right pain of the heart energy and it's being resurrected and brought to the surface to be received by its higher self right it's receiving the higher self you're allowing what was once upside down and not able to transform to Become something beautiful for yourself where you can see clearly, right? Where you can see clearly this vision, this portal that you're moving through. It's almost like the it's almost like the chrysalis and emerging as this butterfly from a state that, you know, might have been in pieces and misunderstood even by yourself for a really long time. It's bringing up what was painful to your heart. Um, that's been carried on in your family's history on some level as a soul lesson for a really long time, right? It's been carried on. So that's what's healing and it's allowing a new fate because the Wheel of Fortune could also be fate's wheel. Um, it's allowing a new fate to take shape where you don't feel like afraid, where you're not afraid that you might get hurt but you're also not recklessly getting yourself hurt right it's toting that fine line so spirit what is the best guiding advice that pisces can receive at this divine time <sighs> moving forward so that they can get the absolute highest good out of this energy right that they get this full transformation Yeah, restore and replenish and against the grain. Cards number 38, breaking down to an 11 and a 4. So you might be seeing 1, 1, 4 or combinations of 11 and, 11s or 1s and 4s. Um, for that matter, you might also be getting 3s, right? Double numbers. <clears throat> With replenish and restore and against the grain. And it's funny because in both of these pictures, the the buttocks is kind of highlighted in the vulnerability of the human form <laughs> okay um and there's this iris energy like this green iris energy and this swimming swimming through the the waters this is about you being able to go back to your childhood or your young adult years when things were scary in life where you didn't understand not just how you feel in the experience but the discerning of your energy from the energy of others in your experience and being able to see how fragile the subconscious mind was and it's forming you know what I mean it was like the core of your reality, if you can compare it metaphorically to like the core of the earth, it was like the core of your reality was being formed, you know, it was when earth was still a molten ball of whatever, you know, cosmic matter and you were, you were young and your experiences were still forming and as you got older and they began to solidify that fragile state is still underneath the surface, even though on the outside we build this wall like we're fine. It's still a very uh, hot and touchy core. So it's a, it's a matter of seeing 
yourself through the eyes of a of of a consciousness learning how to be itself learning how to be itself in a world that it doesn't agree with the pain of right it doesn't agree with the pain of and so it experienced this pain at some point and it's being addressed to heal in these loving waters where you can float with the divine almost in a gratitude um and being able to do this you know reconnecting with your own heart space and get out of you know your mental prisons when it comes to your wish being granted as of, of being fulfilled and fucking happy right and not feeling um misunderstood or stuck right not feeling indecisive about where you're going anymore you're not going around in circles with your pain body anymore the divine is calling you to see the deep truth behind your life's events and allow it to heal allow you to re-become yourself your your best self especially when you can discern how your heart your sensitive and emotive heart feels and is connected to others when you recognize that certain energy that you're feeling that's upsetting is not actually your energy because you're good your actual reality is good it's the energies that bot that are, are physically mentally emotionally bothering you weighing on you that aren't yours you're so highly intuitive you don't know which way to go because you don't know which energy is yours and which isn't and now you know if it doesn't feel good it's not yours you don't know where it's coming from but you need to consciously remind yourself it's not your energy and you can call in your higher self to greet you and remove what is confusing and not transforming so that you can just simply see what it is that your energy in and of itself is creating right in your own positive vibration because you are not you are not the repetition of familial cycles you're the breaker of them pisces is the last sign of the zodiac before it reignites in aries with this with the sign that represents the self and so pisces is the truth pisces is the truth behind the self and whatever it was that was the you know the collective family um you're reinventing that so that it is a new and brighter self okay the journey that you're on is your own and you're claiming it so i hope that helps pisces for your month of september you want more from me all my information is in the description box below and until next time divine rebel racy signing off remember always to love each other and most importantly love yourselves bye everybody <laughs>